Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Steam is running its big Halloween sale right now and in this video I'm gonna highlight some more of the great deals that are available and what you're gonna notice in this video is that yeah this is a Halloween sale but honestly some of the deals I don't even know how they're applicable to Halloween but who cares? We're after the good deals and you know what? They're gonna be represented in this video so let's get right into it. Let's start things off with a couple of Dragon Age titles. EA pretty much put their entire account catalog on sale so yeah we're gonna mention some of those games dragon age origins ultimate edition is 70 percent off for nine dollars so that includes dragon age origins and the awakening expansion and some other content packs as well and then dragon age inquisition is on sale as well 75 percent off for 9.99 that is the game of the year edition you're only able to buy the game of the year edition on steam so yeah, obviously go with that. Dragon Age Origins is an all-time classic as far as Bioware titles go, as far as RPGs go. That game was just tremendous. Obviously, it came out back in fall of 2009. We are, what, 14 years removed from the initial release of the game. Obviously, it shows its age, and it's not like even when it came out, it was like a complete visual delight. Um, but from a narrative standpoint, gameplay standpoint, content standpoint, this game still shines. The a soundtrack is great. Like, those elements of this game are still really strong, and I would still very much say it's a worthwhile playthrough. Doesn't have controller support, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a bummer, but uh, this is a game that is definitely shining through on keyboard and mouse anyway, but uh, yeah, thought I would mention that. Nine bucks for that is great, and Inquisition is probably Bioware's last really great game that they put out, uh, excluding the Mass Effect trilogy, like the HD collection. Like, that's not really, you know, a big release or anything like that, but uh, Inquisition, I thought, was a pretty good game. It seems like it did receive, uh, it was kind of received mixed. Uh, the thing about this game is it came out in fall of 2014, and it was seen as, like, that next-gen RPG that a lot of people were like, wow, this is really showcasing the standard for the PS4 and Xbox One era of RPGs, and then six months later, like, Witcher 3 had to completely rain on its parade, but, you know, it happens sometime. Uh, Inquisition's still very much worth a playthrough, the Game of the Year edition with all the extra content for $9.99, good price there. Also, Dragon Age 2 Ultimate Edition is on sale. It is 70% off for $8.99. Um, Dragon Age 2 is kind of the black sheep in the entire series. Had a very, very quick development time, and I don't know if that was an issue for the game, but it went very much the action-heavy route. Seemed like they were trying to cater towards a console audience. I still enjoyed the game, and I think for $8.99, it's a fine pickup if you want to get all of the titles. Um, you know, given that Bioware's put out some games much worse than Dragon Age 2 recently. I think Dragon Age 2 is still worth a mention. I think it's an okay game there. Next up, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is $9.99. Obviously, you guys uh, hear me talk about how much I loved Jedi Survivor and how much I think Jedi Survivor is an improvement upon Fallen Order. However, I do not think Fallen Order is a bad game. Uh, far from it. I think Fallen Order is, in fact, a great game. I just think the game is really, really good. The combat is great. Uh, the levels are a little bit less open than they are in Survivor, but they still have some depth to it. Uh, some depth to it. What I really dislike about Fallen Order is the navigation element. Um, it's very easy to just lose your way in this game, and it's not like the good kind where it's like you just you know get lost in the world in terms of exploration. No, like I think Fallen Order could have really been better from a navigation standpoint, and uh, Survivor improved it a lot with the navigation assist that's in that game. Um, that might not be a big deal for a lot of people, but I just think the map design in general. Jedi Fallen Order is not great at all. And the map itself, like when you pull up the map in Jedi Fallen Order, oh my goodness, is it terrible. But the combat is great, the story is really good, the visuals are still excellent. I mean, it, it came out four years ago, it's not like that old of a game. And uh, give it to Respawn, like quick turnaround time between C, uh, between titles, Jedi Fallen Order, Fall of 2019, they did Apex Legends, and they did uh, Jedi Survivor, all in like a three and a half year span. It's pretty commendable in this era, uh, just Jedi Survivor's PC port isn't that great, but uh, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. There. Jedi Fall in order, definitely check it out for $9.99. Great price there. Next up, Need for Speed Heat. You have the Deluxe Edition for 90% off for $6.99. Uh, Need for Speed is one of those franchises that's really, really up and down. You'll get great titles like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and then you'll get, like, I think it's Need for Speed 2015. I think it was the year. Yeah, that game wasn't that great. Heat actually turned out to be a pretty solid game. I wasn't crazy about the soundtrack, but it worked in the aesthetic of the game and the setting of the game. The gameplay is great as an arcade racer. Definitely, if you just want a fun no nonsense racer to get into. Need for Speed Heat, while it wasn't worth a full $60, or in this case, uh, $70 for the Deluxe Edition, what it was initially, I believe. 
Uh, seven bucks for the deluxe edition is worthwhile a pickup. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that out if you're looking for a quality arcade racer. Next up, we have A Way Out, 80% off for $5.99. Now, this is very much a shorter game, but it's very good from a narrative standpoint. Bear in mind, it is co-op only, so you need someone else to play with, but you can invite somebody to play with you by just owning a copy of the game. Um... Hazelight has really fa carved out a niche for themselves and found a niche for themselves in a world where, you know, there's so much of uh, video games coming out and there's just so much of every genre that Hazelight focusing and prioritizing these co-op experiences, they've done really well. They also did It Takes Two, and a lot of people think It, it Takes Two is even better than A Way Out, so uh, consider that. 80% off for 6 bucks, though. If you're looking for a co-op title that you can beat over a weekend, this is a pretty good one. Next up, a couple of story-driven games. We have AI the Somnium Foss from Spike Chunsoft. I'm a big Spike Chunsoft fan. The Danganronpa games, unfortunately, over 10 bucks right now. Uh, they're like 14 and those games got like their price uh, prices hiked up. But um, nonetheless, AI the Somnium Foss is freaking fantastic. This is a game with an awesome main character in Kaname Date. You've got a murder mystery story, and very much this is a story-driven experience. More of a visual novel, uh, but the aesthetics in the game are great, and visually much better than the Danganronpa games. Liked it a lot, a lot of mystery, and there is a sequel, uh, AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. That game is not as good as the as this game, but uh, still worthwhile to play through, but that game still goes for a hefty price. Uh, check out Somnium Files, though, 8 bucks for this is great and then you also have zero escape the known area games and this is 70 percent off for 8.99 this includes 9.99 as well as a virtue's last reward that is the first two games of this arc a 9.99 initially came out on the nintendo ds and i remember playing it all the way back then um and now we have it on pc which is great very much a story-driven game with a lot of mystery, a very, very interesting setting, and a lot of mystery in terms of where you are. If you're familiar with this kind of storytelling that Spike does and uh, puts out, it's uh, pretty interesting, and if you're into it, you'll always find these games incredibly captivating, and that's the same thing uh, with the Nonary games. And nine bucks for two titles, think that's quite good. Next up, we have Castlevania Lords of Shadow Ultimate Edition. Now, this game is very much not like a lot of other Castlevania games. Rather, it's a hack and slash action title. I really enjoyed it. I believe development on this game actually started off as like a non-Castlevania game and then they got the Castlevania IP slapped on it. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what happened. And that, even if that didn't happen, that's what it feels like it happened. Uh, Lords of Shadow is a great game though. I think the visuals are solid and the aesthetic and the environments, it's very much still darker in tone and I liked it quite a lot from that standpoint. Some of the puzzles and whatnot didn't really click with me, but I thought the gameplay as far as the action combat was pretty good. And for this price, point uh, at six dollars i think this is a fairly good pickup you get the dlc here as well next up gotta mention some sort of resident evil game notice i haven't mentioned resident evil revelations yet it's 77 percent off for 689 i think this game is criminally underrated mainly because it initially released on the 3ds and you know, a Resident Evil game on the 3DS, how much is that really going to click? Uh, ultimately, the game was ported to all modern platforms. Modern platforms at the time, I think it was PlayStation 3 that this game came out on, and then ultimately PS4 and X1 as well, and on PC. Uh, the only thing is, yes, it is a remastered release with updated visuals, but it's still originally a Nintendo 3DS game, so just keep your expectations in line. But as far as a survival horror Resident Evil game goes, this is a pretty damn good one. And remember, this was coming out in the era where Resident Evil was very much in a slump. It wasn't like today's era where Resident Evil is putting out banger after banger. No, it was the era of Resident Evil 6. So, uh, yeah, Revelations was a really good one, and one that a lot of people miss out on for $6.89. Great price there. Uh, next up Catherine classic this is actually under five dollars a couple more titles because i'm not going to do another five dollar video uh 75 off for 4.99 i really enjoyed Catherine. i thought it was a really well-made game from a storytelling standpoint obviously it's super quirky it's not going to be for everyone the puzzle based gameplay is also something that i thought it was like pretty clever but um you know, that might not be the part that hooks you, although you could put on, like, the easy difficulty and just go through the story if you want that. Um, the only issue with this one is for some reason they decided to release this classic version and not the full body edition that's available on PlayStation uh, 4 and Nintendo Switch. I don't know if that edition is ever going to come out on PC. Really unfortunate that, that that is the case. At least they do note that it's Catherine Classic, so nobody gets baited into thinking it's full body, but, uh, 
you know, it is what it is. $4.99 if you want to pick it up. A story-driven, quirky game. Again, not for everybody, but I think if you like the quirkiness that anime can bring you sometimes, you'll enjoy Catherine quite a lot. Next up, Hollow Knight uh, is available 50% off for $7.49. This is generally received as one of the best Metroidvanias of all time. It's got a great art style, can be incredibly challenging. I didn't get into it as much as a lot of other people, as you guys might know. As far as Metroidvanias go, Dead Cells is always going to be the game that I constantly go back to, and that is my favorite. But Hollow Knight... Uh, is definitely a game that should be in everyone's library. And given the reception, I mean, 278,000 Steam reviews and an overwhelmingly positive reception. That's just staggering, 97%. I know everybody's looking forward to Hollow Knight's Silk Song, and hopefully that'll come out sooner rather than later. Next up, we have The Darkness 2, 75% off for $7.49. A really well done first person shooter with some over the top gameplay mechanics as well. The Darkness, I remember when The Darkness originally came out, had a lot of buzz for this idea of a game where you have these demons attached to you, and it looked pretty cool, and it had a lot of buzz. I feel like Darkness 2 as a sequel, it didn't have the same level of buzz that the original Darkness had, but at the very least, Darkness 2 is actually still available on PC and Steam. And uh, there's rumblings about potentially Darkness 1 getting a rematch release which would be great but if you want a gory first person shooter that's a little bit gritty and wacky with like the demonic aspects uh 749 pretty good price there a little bit on the shorter side so keep that in mind uh next up we have the vanishing of ethan carter 80 percent off for 399 i think this game is super underrated uh it's a game that is very much delivering a great atmosphere, a great mystery, and a narrative, but it's very light on the gameplay. This is very much like more of a walking sim. Take in the scenery, take in what the game is offering you from a world standpoint, um, but yeah, light on the gameplay that is going to push a lot of people away, and they're gonna just find the game boring, like, and I can understand that. I think visually, the game is also one of the more underrated games. Like, this game had great visuals back in 2014 when it came out, and it holds up fairly well nine plus years later. There is a VR edition of the game release, but, you know, $3.99 for the base game, and the VR bundle is $14, bucks, so a lot of you guys probably won't want to check that out, but for that price point, I think it's quite good, and again, super underrated in my opinion, but that is going to do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals available right now. Some of this stuff, I don't even know how it applies to Halloween, I guess, if you're, like, gonna go dress up as Cal Kestis, I guess. Like, that can fall under the Halloween category or Need for Speed. How does Need for Speed Heat fall under the ha uh, Halloween category? Don't ask me. But, uh, yeah, great deals are great deals. So, links to everything in the description box down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave all your thoughts in the comments section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.